Welcome to jQuery video series and this is part 5 and today we are going to download the jQuery and we are going to add that to our project. In last video we saw you know how the jQuery can be coded using the offline tools and the online tools right. So today we are going to look at the offline tool. So we are going to add a jQuery to our project in an offline version. So in my case my tool is Visual Studio so let's move on and we download the jQuery so like we go to jQuery.com then there's a download link let's click on that so once you click on that it will show you <coughs> you know that you have two versions available one is the compressed and another is uncompressed version so right now we are developing so we are going to use the development version the production version I mean is the compressed version when you download that file you won't be able to make out what's written in that because it's very compacted and when you download the uncompressed version you see you know everything what's inside so if I click on this I'll see this JS file so I'm going to save this file on my desktop so as you can see you know you have a lot of things so I have saved that on my desktop and this is my jQuery file so now I'm going to right click I'm going to copy I have my project open uh, this project does nothing but if you look at this thing uh, think of this as as a folder where we are starting our project and everything so this is just a folder alright and in Visual Studio I am pasting that JS file <coughs> next step is I need to add yes we add the JS file to our project now we need to add the HTML file to our project so I'm going to add new item alright now this is gonna take a while HTML so this is <coughs> jQuery underscore test page alright and I like HTML so I'm gonna say add and now uh, this is the normal page and now what we need to do is we need to simply drag jQuery from here onto my HTML page so this is the markup I get or uh, in other editors you have to manually type like you know the script source is this is uh, the file and where it is present and then you need to specify a type okay so now at present uh, this file is present in my root so it doesn't complain anything but as we move further you will see you know people like to you know uh, organize things so they go like this scripts and then they save it like this they move the file within that so now over here you will see that it is start shouting that I'm not able to find this file so again now I'm gonna drag this file from here to here so now I have the correct path so now we have an idea like how to download a jQuery then how to add uh, the jQuery file to our project and when we want to use the jQuery we need this file as a reference to our project and we need to push that reference into the head section once we do that then it's done now up next we are going to look at how can you add the jQuery to your online versions like you know live weave, JS, uh, you know hint, JS fiddle or plunker right so I hope to see you there and I hope this helps so thank you for watching